Now the first step is to lock the FPS at 120 or 60. You can try full screen or window mode. Lower down ambient occlusion to medium and set it to screen space. Now for this you can go to settings and then click on edit settings and then go to graphics. Now over here in my case I have set it to 60. So you can you can try to set it at 120 FPS, you can set it to 120 or you can even lock the FPS to 60 and then you can check. Now also here you can see ambient occlusion over here. If this is uh, set to like ultra, uh, you can set it to medium over here or you can even go for off. So try medium or off. In my case, I will just, you know, turn it off and for embed occlusion method you can set it to screen space and you can even switch to window mode and then check you can even go full screen and then check which which is working fine for you apply the settings and then you can check the performance still not working uh, the next step is to rename or delete the user settings folder and file system cache folder all the saved settings will be lost now for this you can go to file explorer go to documents folder open NFL 26. Now over here, uh, in my case, I have already renamed this user settings. So you can rename it or you can even make a right click and delete this user settings. All the saved settings will be lost. Now over here, you can see file system cache. You can make a right click, you can delete it. Now you can launch the game and then check. Now if you're using port master application, if you're not using, you can skip it. If you're using, you can close it or uninstall this application and then check. The next step is to enable secure boot in system BIOS. Now, let me inform you, making incorrect changes in system BIOS may cause no boot issue or other issues with the computer. So if you're not sure, you can contact your system manufacturer and then you can enable the secure boot in the BIOS. Now, you can find the detailed guide on secure boot on the EA website. The link is provided in the video description. You can go through all the details over here. How to use secure boot on your PC. So you can go through the details and you I also provided a link which is from Microsoft. Here also, if you want, you can go through the details on how to enable secure boot on, on your computer. So go through this and then check. Still not working, perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have MD card, go to MD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So you can select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system, and then click on find. And on this page, you will see the, the latest graphic card driver at the very top. So whichever is the latest, you can click on view and then you can download this file. And once the download is complete, you can run this exe file and then click on yes to allow and then click on OK. And then you will see this screen, click on agree and continue, then custom, next, and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then click on next after the clean installation restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check if you have amd card do the same thing you can go to amd website select your graphic card and update your graphic card driver and then restart your computer next is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows set box click on graphic settings now click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed if the game is installed in c drive open c drive and open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added, click on the game and then for GPU preference, set it to high performance and then you can uh, launch the game and then you can check. Still not working. Now, uh, desktop users, make sure that you connect the dis display cable or HDMI cable to the dedicated graphic card slot, not the motherboard slot. So if you can put computer has a dual graphic card, make sure that you connect the cable to the dedicated graphic card. Now, the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. If you have the game on Steam, you can make a right click on the game, select properties. Over here, you can, in the launch option, you can type in dash D3 D11. And then you can close this, launch the game, and then check. If that does not work, you can even try DX11, dash DX11, launch the game, and then check. If that does not work, you can type in dash DX12, launch the game, and then check. Still not working, you can remove this. And if you have the game on EA app, in that case, click, click on manage, click on view properties over here you can type in dash d3 d11 and then you can click on save and then you can close this launch the game and then check now still not working in that case uh, 
you can click on manage view properties and this time you can type in dash dx11 and then you can click on save launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even type in dash dx12 save it launch the game and then check still not working remove this save it empty it and then follow the next step so in my case the game is launching right now now the next step is to install directx file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see directx file you have to click on download and then you can run this exe file click on yes to allow now click on accept over here then click on next uncheck install bing bar over here and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and then you can launch the game let me close the game for now now still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in the browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down here you can see uh, visual files uh, you have to download this x86 and x64 download both the file and then you can run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well again and run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed then restart you can be restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to try power saver mode uh, now for this type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel click on hardware and sound and then click on uh, power options in my case i have only balanced in your case over here you will see power saver so if you see power saver select power saver launch the game and then check you can even go for balanced or high performance check which one is working fine for you but first of all over here if you see power saver select power saver and then launch the game next step is to if you have these application like jackrat application running close it crypto pro running close it punk buster you can uninstall this delete it from your computer if you have this goodbye dpi app close it if you have, if you are using this drop top drop top application close it rain meter if you are using close it close it from the task manager if you have any uh, corsair application running corsair software running you can make sure that you close it this icue software if you have this 3x support app close it game companion if you are running close it if you have this menu exe running in the task manager from scan close it if you have vibe port vibes vr software you can close it and then launch the game disable daemon tools if you have this running and make a right click on the start menu and then go to task manager if you find daemon tools running over here in my case i don't have, if you have it running make a right click on daemon tools over here and then make a right click and then click on end task over here. and this this soft bus now you can make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager if you find daemon tools running over here you can just uh, disable it from the device manager under storage controller if you see it in my case i have already disabled so you can disable these two and then launch the game if you have re wasd ds4 windows auto hotkey if you have any kind of razor software uh, face it and face it anti cheat any kind of anti cheat program riot vanguard logitech if you find this xvdd sc SI mini port in device manager make a right click and then close, uh, disable it Corsair if you're running if you see it in device manager make a right click disable it you can even uninstall this application so close all these kind of application any third party application uh, the troubleshooting is not limited to this application if you find any other application which you find suspicious you can close those application and services in the task manager and then you can check perform clean boot uh, you can type in system configuration in windows search box click on system configuration go to the services tab put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services then click on disable all in my case i already did it this that's why it's grayed out so make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first then click on disable all then hit apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart you can be and then launch the game next step is to repair or uninstall e anti cheat now for this uh, you can go to the game installation folder if you have the game on steam make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files if you have the game on e app click on manage view properties and then click on open folder and then open installer e anti cheat folder e anti cheat installer make a right click then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then click on repair click on ok 
and then go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed select the game folder and then select the folder once the repair is complete you will see install success at the end once that is done now you can launch the game and then you can check now uh, you can even uh, try to find when you run e anti cheat over here uh, you can find uh, this madden 26 if you don't find madden 26 over here in that case you can use this link uh, you can go to ea website the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to the official ea website on the, from the official ea website you can download this ea javelin anti-cheat installer and then you can run this exe file click on it then click on yes to allow and over here from the drop down option you can select if you find install madden 26 you can select it and then you can click on repair and one uh, follow the same process uh, wherever the game is installed you can find program wherever the game is installed select the game folder click on select folder and once the install is success now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even update EA anti cheat for this game so make sure madden 26 is selected over here then you can click on update and once the update is complete now you can once update check is success you can check if that does not work you can even uninstall EA anti cheat for madden 26 only and then click on inst install make sure madden 26 is selected over here and then once the install is success now you can check still not working you can select madden 26 over here and then click on uninstall now once the uninstall is done you can close this and then you can launch the game and when you launch the game uh, during the launch it will install ea anti cheat and then you can check click on yes to allow and let the ea anti cheat install and then you can check still not working the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so go to the game installation folder and then uh, select the game exe file and then you can make a right click then click on run as administrator and then check or you can make a right click go to properties and then you can go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working you can go to properties this time you can select windows 8 over here hit apply click on ok and then launch the game if, if that does not work you can even select windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game you can even put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and try to run the game from here so make a right click on ea anti-cheat over here and run as administrator ea anti-cheat game service launcher make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then you can check so here you can see it's installing ea anti-cheat now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like a vast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security open windows settings and then go to privacy and security windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow then click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps select all the exe file over here even the trial one and then open installer ea anti cheat select this exe file now you can launch the game and then check uh, let me close the game for now still not working uh, the next step is to make changes in the exploit protection for nfl 26 exe file so type in exploit protection over here go to exploit protection go to program settings over here click on add a program to customize click on choose exact file path and then go to the game installation folder select the game exe file and then click on open then you will see this prompt for madden26.exe you have to make changes only for this and put a check on this override system settings would be unchecked you can put a check over here if this is on turn it off again put a check over here turn it off so check off check off in my case i have already turned off everything so if this, these are on you can just turn it off make sure this is checked first override system settings you have to put a check on override system settings and turn off the option under it and then hit apply click on yes to allow and then you can launch the game if you face any problem you can remove it this will go to default 
Now it's still not working. The next step is to repair or verify the game files. Now for this, if you have the game on EA app, manage, then click on repair. Once the repair is done, launch the game. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click, go to properties. Over here, you will find install uh, tab. In my case, the game is installed uh, on EA app. I don't have the game on Steam. So make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrity the game files. After the verification is done, launch the game. Next step is to update the system BIOS. Go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. Now, disconnect all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. If you have extra controller connected, disconnect it. If you're using VPN, you can, uh, like, you can turn off the VPN and then check if the VPN, uh, you can turn off or turn on the VPN and then check Disable overlay. Uh, if you have any kind of oval, overlay application running, you can close it like Discord running. You can go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you can go to NVIDIA app settings, turn off NVIDIA overlay. And in, if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on NFL 26 and then properties and then turn off the option, enable the Steam overlay while in game. If you have this uh, on EA app, then you can go to three horizontal lines at the top left and then go to settings and then go to application. And over here, you will see overlay application uh, option. You can turn off overlay and then launch the game. Close all the, uh, do not overclock. If you have overclocked your computer, you can set it to default. Set the overclocking default. Close all the overclocking application like MSI Afterburner, Revert, you know, any kind of third-party application or services running, close it. If you have underwater your computer, remove the underwater and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the direct X functional error with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.